rather <laughs> than <laughs> gonna have to see. thinking. Game number two is up here. Brand Esports up a game against oh. SXE Imba. And I think we have an early engagement here with Pain going up against Honda. Very aggressive early gameplay. Pain showing up his face against the members of SXE Imba in the middle lane. And they're still uh, going for the offensive here. Yeah. Yuji and Pain just putting up a lot of pressure here in the Pretty middle lane. Honda yeah. already down to half HP, not one minute into the game. Yes, and that is because of the aggressive play of Brand Esports team there with the Kai as well as the Gushin. Meanwhile, the rest of the members of the team, of course, oops, we're seeing the Hellcurt solo laning the top lane at the moment, trying to get farms as early as possible for himself. And at the same time, they're now watching over here on the crab area in the top lane. But Honda, half life at the moment. Oh, what? Honda dropping low on HP. One for HP. First the rest okay. of Brand Esports are actually just minding their business and xxc imba are there to go for the backup but never really happened okay smart call i think, I think? that was the wrong move by honda though on the, on the on the garak i mean he is half hp and that half hp is not that much it's just early although he's a grok he's a tank but this is early game time early game time and you have to have a, a lot of hp in the early game because you have to reach level four mm. once you reach three minutes into the game. But yeah, we oh, see here. this is going to be another engagement here by Brand Esports, and just like what you said, I think they are opting to go for the dive potentials here. Yes, you can see here very aggressive play Turtle by Brand Esports soon. at the moment, rotating in the middle lane as well. The Lolita is Bonchun. Oh, I think this is going to be a big clash. Imba is actually going to back off instead. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be an encounter there at the river. Near the turtle. Oh, turtle area in here. Looks like Brandy Sports starting with that over now. Um, again, no contest at all by SXE Imba. Looks like uh, this is what we've seen the first game Ooh, of Pain. Pain dropping low on HP. I don't think he's going to be able to escape, so that equalizes the scoreboard. But the turtle has been slain, so that is going to be a uh, good exchange for Brand Esports instead. Yes. But Bonchon driving in towards two Brent Esports members and he's gonna drop low on HP and Brent Esports is still on the chase here and that's gonna be Bonchon down. Yuji is gonna secure that kill. And yes, there you go. It's one two that is score right now. Brent Esports still on the lead. I think that's because of the secure that they took away um, with a turtle plus they got two kills. They, they are leading in terms of skill. So objective wise so far for the farms. Brand Esports has this lead. But it's, and at the same time, they're taking away the jungle of SXC Imba. Just, just, they're already in that. They're already ahead. So they're making sure that they're still, still ahead. ahead. <laughs> making sure that they secure that. You're just gonna find your ways. If it's invading the enemy jungle oh. and then getting a lot of XP, Look at go this. For looks it. like we have a mirror rotation in here. 4-1. Oh, yeah. That is the setup right now. But Lunox probably would just give away the turret in the bottom lane. He knows he's not gonna survive. But it's gonna be Reaper, a fair trade. wow, pretty persistent trying to stay in there. Why? I mean, probably he did he doesn't want the second turret to be pushed in the top lane as well. The second both of these teams eliminating the first tier turrets at mm -hmm. the top and the bottom, respectively. The Kree, the minions are actually pushing towards the uh, bottom oh. turret of SXC Imba, and that is going to be the concession here. Brent Esports opting to go for the turret, and the same thing for Imba. Yes, this is a battle of like who's going to go back away first. Who's, who's, I mean, this is a battle of skills now. Like it it's, is. it's a mirror match. It's just a battle of skills. We're in how they're going to. Uh, play their, I mean, their heroes and their lineup. Turtle How are gonna make it to work? Soon. But so far, it's the end, <laughs> finally. But it's still pretty even match. We're in both of the teams rotating in the middle lane now, this time. Probably trying to contest the turtle area as well. Something's happening. That may be the case, but Brent Esports is sniffing mm -hmm. SXE Imba towards their top jungle. And Imba is offering to stick together because they know there's gonna be a fight there. Honda face checking the bush, does see Haze and Pain. But they are just gonna disengage. It's kind of um, risky at this point, but the turtle will be contested here by Brand the Esports. The second turtle of Brand Esports. Again, no contest at all by Imba. I mean, you can see here how aggressive, I mean, how, or how probably how scared Imba is in trying to take a risk against Brand Esports. They're not taking any risk at all, probably in trying to steal away that turtle or trying to be. Uh, 
or getting a more aggressive play against Ren Esports. I think they're just offing play it safe. And speaking of playing it safe, Rebo and Pain, they are going to fall back. They will be safe there. Mm -hmm. Hayes almost going for Dexter there, but Rebo falls down. So, again, equalizes the scoreboard, but Bren Esports is. Bren Esports' lead is actually slowly disappearing here. Slowly disappearing indeed. Looks like SXC Imba finally getting the confidence that they want, that they need for them to actually win this fight. But Bren Esports, it seems they. They, it seems they don't want to allow that as it's like trying to put a pressure in here in the middle lane Honda over here in the middle lane SXC Imba stopping this offensive by Brent Esports it's gonna be more than enough Honda makes it out skin of his teeth but this is gonna be a siege for Brent Esports they're opting to really get this here one turn and SXC Imba is opting to go for the engagement Honda diving in that's gonna be one down by Payne oh, and they are is. still going in for the fight Dexter does equalize the board that's a one for one trade in that engagement, but Brent Esports, I think they are still wanting more here. Over to the bottom lane, though, Archie on that Hellkurt is going to have to fall back. Ar Hellkurt is a good, good champion good in champion. terms of split pushing. Yes, in terms of split pushing. I mean, he has this global uh, skill for his ultimate that can, you know, support anywhere and powder the mob. But at the same time, you can see here Dexter on the Lunox going online now. Let's see here an engagement oh. in the bottom lane. Oh, successful oh. back away by that Coco. Nice More disengage by Brent Esports, but Pain is dropping really low on HP. Meanwhile, the turret is going to fall down. That's a oh, one Yuji for zero though. trade. Yuji though, spotting out Dexter. Dexter low on HP after that burst damage by Yuji, but that's going to be a double kill for Dexter. Bren, they need to, uh, they really need to fix their bearings and try to bounce back in this game. Yeah, they have the lead. They had the lead in the early game, but now mm -hmm. Imba, it's they have. It's just flipped over now. It's just flipped over now, indeed. And successfully, Imba successfully defended a top turret so far. Teleporting back was that Haji on the ca Karina. I mean, is this, this is the first time that I see Karina once again. It's, it's kind of confusing to, you know, to remember his name. But so far, it seems Brent Esports kind of persistent in terms of securing or focusing just on the objectives. In terms of getting more kills, you can see here they're not allowing as much as possible the creep waves of SXC Imba to go towards their base or their turrets. But meanwhile... Meanwhile, Honda, once again on that oh. rock, is finally going to fall down. By the hands of Brand Esports, and that's going to be a top turret as well. They could go for the tier 2 turrets, but right now the middle turret is being contested here by Imba. That's going to be down for them. I think Brand Esports is going to go for the counter attack and hopefully go for another push here mm -hmm. as well. You can see here pressure again now has fl flipped over Brand Esports now being more aggressive this time once again as he tried to clear the waves in the top lane as well as in the middle lane and put a pressure against the members of SXC Imba as well and now it seems they're gonna get a tier to third on the top lane this time but look at that bottom lane though the Hellcard's doing a split push will they send all that's happening Honda is gonna get taken out they're trying to delay Brent Esports just giving space for Hellcard to go for the split push but Coco is there to respond and Hellcard is gonna have to fall back yes and fortunately for Hellcard though he didn't get a hit even on the tier to turn in the bottom lane. Meanwhile, we have a damaged Lord in here. Seems like Brent Esports attempted to actually get that, but apparently Lolita was right over there doing a face check. But of course, Lolita doesn't have the damage. I wonder though if Brent Esports will be able to take away this tier one turn in the middle lane as Honda, together with Karina as well as the rest of SXC Imba team members, Try to defend this over. Yeah, this is going to be an engagement. Pain does jump in. Honda really low on HP. Just the burst output there by Brent Esports is going to be enough. But Hayes is going to fall down by the hands of Haji. The rest of Brent Esports are going to go for the disengage. I thought they were going to go for a counterattack there. They're just throwing all their skills away. But Pain, though, it is feeling the pain. Coco and the rest of Brent Esports, they need to fall back. They can't fight this Imba lineup head on and this okay. is why what i said during the draft phase and i'm leaning towards sxc imba okay. just a lot of damage yes a lot of damage and they are actually able to get the lord as fast as that with the damage that they have at the moment oh my goodness and at the same time they're free to clear the waves on the top lane 
Um, Brand Esports lacking. I mean, they're waiting for Kaya to recover pain on that the, on that hero as well. And they really have to, you know, rework, probably re-strategize. As Essex Simba, it seems they're catching up on their strategy at the moment. They really are catching up, no doubt about that. As I see Imba though, they need to secure the rest of the tier 2 turrets and just wait for two big fights against Ren Esports. That's the, only, that's the way that they can win. That's how I see it. Ren Esports on the other hand, they just need to focus on the objective game. Mm -hmm. they, they're not ahead at all in terms of objectives. Yes, as the Lord is now with, with the side of SXC Imba right over there on the top lane. Um, it seems like the Grok delayed it a little bit as he tried to, you know, put a wall with a on the Lord. But this allowed the the SXC Imba to actually clear off another turret in the bottom lane. In the middle lane, it seems they're gonna get another turret objective in there. Yeah, it's free. They're doing what Brand Esports did to them during yeah. game number one. Split pushing <laughs> and just securing objectives. And I think <laughs> Imba might have the win condition here to get game number two, but possible. we'll see how Brent Esports is going to react to this. Yes, definitely possible at the moment. Um, um, this is going to be very exciting. Let's see if Brent Esports will actually be able to wake away. Oh, that's going to be it. Hayes is going to go for the offensive there, but Archie does secure the kill. Coco takes down Dexter as well. Coco dropping low on HP, and he's going to be taken out. Brent Esports dropping like a sack of potatoes here. It's just Rebo and Yuji on their own, defending against this four-man Imba lineup, and they are going in for the kill. Rebo almost gets taken out there, but that's going to be the Tier 3 turret, and it's just going to be the pace. That's going to be another Tier 3 turret for SXC Imba. And they're getting it easily as no contest at all by Brand Esports. Rebo, that looks like he's going to be another casual. Oh, UG. Dropping uh, low, and that's going to be it. Game number two is for Imba. We are going to go and see a game number wow, three. Wow, this is the bragging rights that you're talking And look about. at this. Look at these guys. They're, <laughs> they're losing it. They're very happy. I mean, it's reasonable why they're that happy. You just bit the champion.